hi everyone this is Harsha from Midas IT uh, now I will be giving a overview and um, I will be de uh, modeling and analyzing the pile raft analysis uh, here uh, in the screen in front of you you can see uh, it is a raft model and uh, two layers of soil model and uh, along with that I also modeled three pile, mm, four piles basically so the pile length is of 13 meters and the soil uh, depth is like around 20 meters and the raft is like a four, me four by four meter so basically this has been modeled using uh, the rectangular command and the extrude command and the line command and now uh, I will uh, use the boolean boolean cut operation basically to in order to have a similar phase between the raft and your soil so I'm, I had selected the auto connect and my using the method as a boolean and selecting all the three objects so now when you check for duplicates you can see uh, there is an, a similar phase between your raft and soil and your soil 1 and soil 2 layer so now I'm uh, going for uh, imprinting of your 1d elements you had here we had drawn the curves right so all these curves should get these curves so not the rectangle just I'm hiding the rectangle so these curves should get imprinted onto your solid such that there should be a nodal connectivity between them so let's say go to auto connect here sorry not auto connect go to imprint option and here you can find imprint auto option uh, just select the target objects your target objects are the three solids and now your tool objects in the tool objects you need to select all the four all the four lines so all the four lines has been selected and just say click okay so in, in the between layers you can find an uh, connection so this dot represents that uh, the uh, line is being connected with your uh, soil uh, layer and here you, here also you can see the line is now connected with your raft so imprinted option has been worked so now uh, we need to Im uh, we need to define your material proper material and properties so i already and uh, now i will use an import option and i will directly import the uh, data from a already developed model so i will import the concrete data i will import the pile data and this is the layer to represent the soil data and uh, i will also import the pile interface uh, it's basically pile tip also I will be in uh, importing it so this pile interface and pile deep I'll be explaining what it basically work for so I'll generate the interface between your raft and your soil as well so later on I will provide both lateral and horizontal loads I just click on ok when you import the property along with the property your materials will also get imported so these are two sand layers uh, for sand uh, property so we just proceed for rest, um, your modeling sorry your meshing so in go to meshing for 3d just select your uh, raft and provide the size of 0 0.5 and just use the property name as concrete also you can use the hybrid measure as well just say apply so here you can see uh, the raft has been modeled now uh, let's say uh, uh, you can check whether your pile means or your 1d curve is got imprinted onto your raft or not here you can see the line is now projected into the nodes that has been formed in uh, the raft so now we proceed for meshing of your soils so now just select two soils one and two the entire soils has been selected now uh, we need to give the property of uh, soil let's say we provide a two or a two meter of your mesh size and now go to uh, the advanced option and select the interior edges in here so the the eight edges means um, all the pile elements that curves which has been model is now uh, selected and just consider imprinting shape on face now in here the beam element property has been defined for the pile basically so that I'm uh, considering it just say ok and proceed for meshing 
so now you can see that the pile and soil uh, sorry the raft and soil has been connected similarly the piles and uh, uh, soil also has been connected now uh, I'll show you the beam property basically what is beam property I had considered M20 grade of concrete and of the section of uh, 0.35 by 0.25 so this is my rectangular section considered for piles and uh, similarly now I will be providing the pile interface and pile tip the interface between pile and uh, soil and the tip uh, the pile tip uh, by providing the pile tip you basically provide the end bearing resistance so just go to pile and pile tip option over here in here just select your pile elements so in the mesh so you can have the raft interior edge so it basically I am deselecting all the geometry so raft integrated is your piles so when you clicked on the property you can see the pile of rectangular cross section uh, so now this is the pile and uh, this is the raft sorry I haven't, I haven't changed the name now I will be changing the name so this is the raft so in order to change the name just cl uh, click over the uh, a name set and press F2 oh sorry press F2 soil 1 sorry press F2 soil and then click enter so now I am interested in providing your pile interface so just go for pile and here select your pile interface pile soil interface and now just click on your interior edges so you can see all the edges has been selected and just click ok your pile soil interface has been generated so here you can see uh, just I'm um, de uh, deserting all and this is my piles so I will be changing the name again for here these are my piles and you can see that there is change in color when I selected the piles or interface so I am deselecting the piles and this is my interface between pile and uh, soil similarly soil 1 and soil 2 and draft so now I am uh, providing a pile tip for the interface that has been provided just go to pile tip again and select the bottom nodes so you had selected the four nodes and now give the name as pile tip press ok so a pile tip has been generated your pile tip has been generated now you need to you're interested in providing the interface between your uh, the raft and your soil right so further just go to plane from element boundary just select your elements the elements is to raft and I'm selecting the VZ condition so I will be providing a strength reduction factor of from 0 0.85 just press OK and uh, uh, the raft soil interface and here we are having an option called uh, create other element the rigid link or elastic link basically what is this is um, whenever you are uh, doing a construction stage analysis and you are also interested in provision of uh, interface in the model so interface will be activated in the third or fourth stage so in the first two stages there uh, the rigid link should be activated so what happens is whenever you provide an interface between the uh, two layers what happens is the node the common node between the two layers will be splitted into two and there will be uh, two uh, spring co uh, spring coefficients that get activated i will be showing the coefficients that has been activated because of this interface using this wizard just say click ok and now go to uh, mesh and material so because of the interface between the soil and uh, raft using wizard you got the material interface like this so the stiff uh, shear stiffness model is that has been generated for the uh, for your uh, 
interface layer is this much and normal interface so cohesion everything will be calculated based on the reduction factor that has been provided similarly if you are interested in some uh, multi-linear multi-linear hardening you can provide the function for the um, for your uh, interface layer as well and suppose I'm um, so this is a coulomb friction which has been taken and uh, so if I'm interested in a tensile strength I can provide the tensile strength so that uh, the if I can pro so if you're interested in uh, taking the realistic property like uh, soil never takes the tensile strength then you can restrict it to zero by just enabling it and keeping it zero or else you can use some constant strength re shear retention curve as well so this is how it works and just like now uh, i had provided the interface between your uh, soil and raft a uh, pile and soil now i need to uh, provide the boundary conditions so when you go for uh, boundary conditions here you in the static slope, slope analysis boundary constraint go to auto just select ground supports uh, means you need to consider all measures and select uh, gs so what happens is the extreme end corners will be given all your ground supports and in the bottom it will be fixed condition in a, a bo in all translations and um, the vertical boundary conditions will be normally fixed uh, so this is how it works and uh, uh, in order to uh, since the, so the pile element is basic uh, sorry the beam element is having six DOFs and the soil is having only three DOFs so in order to cope up with that I'm providing I'm restricting my uh, piles in RZ about RZ so again go to static slope con constraint go to advance and I need to restrain RZ of my piles so just select your piles so all the piles has been selected uh, that there are 32 no number of nodes in the files so I'll be providing this as a piles are set just click OK so what happens is whenever uh, you provide the piles are set this is my pile the RZ has been activated now and you can see all the nodes um, among the uh, means in the piles is now restricted about RZ <laughs> So now we are in, uh, now we need to provide the load. Go to sulfate and provide the uh, name as SW. It represents sulfate. And now I will be providing some uh, load at the top. Let's say the load is like uh, uh, you need to change it into 3D element phase and provide some 400 kilonewton per meter square. And this is normal pressure. Similarly, I, am any, uh, I want to provide some uh, lateral load as well. Let's say I will be uh, providing some lateral pressure. In that case, uh, just select only your uh, raft. Go to front view and select the side elements. So these are your side elements and provide 50 kilonewton per meter square. So now you can find the lateral pressure has been activated. Uh, this is your uh, raft and this is your uh, lateral load and pre uh, up the normal load and the sulfate has been activated so this is our basic modeling so now um, what are you are interested in we are interested in nonlinear static analysis so go for nonlinear static analysis generate uh, be activate all the cells the pile RZ ground support sulfate lateral pressure and pressure as well give the name as pile raft analysis Sorry. Uh, go to analysis control and include self includes in situ analysis with sulfate and just clear the displacement because of the sulfate. So all the uh, sulfate uh, means all the uh, displacement that occurred because of the sulfate will be cleared and only but in situ stresses remains there. And if you want to provide any ground uh, groundwater what or uh, water level positions, you can define it or else you can provide the graph for that as well as how it is changing with x with the change in the global x or how what is the value of the your um and the uh, sorry uh, means your water level that can also be provided so here in c2 clear displacement i'm clicking okay just press on okay and perform your analysis So the analysis is being run. 
Uh, so now the analysis has been completed. Uh, we will look into results. So just go to results tab in the works tree and uh, in the start in, a, in the very first we go for uh, displacement tz displacement uh, here you can see the contour for the tz displacement and uh, you can plot the results at the points of your interest as well uh, so it is like the it is in mm the units are in mm and uh, you're having the maximum of uh, one uh, 3.23 mm and that's in the top so now let uh, I will be uh, I'm interested in cutting some slices in the uh, middle so let's go for the cut clipping plane diagram and uh, um, so this is my contour so it is like a very center of your raft and your model so this is how it is being behaved and I'm interested in the uh, variation of my displacement at different depth for that just go to uh, 2d 3d visit uh, here you can see these are the different nodes on this uh, on this plane so just click on the particular nodes and you can find the various you can find the various uh, different depths so various different displacement basically so this is how it, it works the 2d 3d displacement um, generally after this uh, we are in now interested in the beam element forces just go for pile elements so how the bending moment or how the axial forces be uh, of your piles are there just we will check that one uh, uh, before that we can also check the stresses in the piles as well so basically uh, this is not a solid stress so that's why we will be go over checking the beam element stresses so just go to model and uh, enable only piles pile tip and pile soil interface so in this case just go to analysis uh, uh, sorry results tab and go to beam element forces so just click on axial forces so just okay I, I just uh, disable the clipping plane and now here we are having uh, this is the axial forces beam axial forces and now go to shear force in y either means about y axis and shear force about z axis and uh, bending moment about y bending moment about z axis so basically now you are interested in skin friction for that you ensure that the pile uh, pile pile soil interface has been uh, activated and just click on tangential x so what x represents in here is just go to element csys here the red uh, uh, red arrow represents your element called element uh, local axis so this is x axis and that's why the tangential x it represents in here and when you're interested in y you can see the uh, screen friction about y as well this is about z so now uh, just uh, we are interested in pil uh, pile tip just click on uh, your tangential x again here you can find the uh, means in the legend you can find the value of your maximum and minimum forces available because of the bearing resistance and he can perform the same so this is basically all about your pile raft analysis and you can pro you can obtain the skin friction and um, you can obtain the axial forces bending moment and the shear force as well and so if you are interested in bending stresses so axial stresses and these are the different uh, other stresses so now we are interested in interface stresses let's say um, whether my raft is getting slided away from the soil or not or we will be into or, or not so we will look into it just click on your raft soil interface and just go for interface stresses in normal x or normal y or normal z you can find the stresses in the interface layer so in, uh, in the raft you can find one stresses and in the interface you can find other stresses so because this is an actual interface element that will be created as an entirely new element between your raft and soil and and suppose how much displacement is getting this uh, tz ty and tx all the displacement you can find so later load is applying in this direction you can find maximum uh, displacement in the right side so you can form 
and uh, this is how you can able to judge the uh, so real interaction between your soil and uh, uh, raft uh, and that's, that is all for pile raft analysis with pile as a beam element and in the next video I will be coming up with the pile as a solid element and we will look into the stresses in the piles in the real time and we can also get the bending moment and shear force in the uh, solid element as well and I will be showing how in you by using Midas GTSNX. Thank you.